and i thought i won't be doing any more videos on llama 3 but here we are with yet another video on a new fine-tuned version of or a merged version of llama 3 model if you don't know what llama 3 is i would highly suggest you just search llama 3 on my channel and you should be able to see at least two dozen or three dozen videos on llama 3 from various angles meta developed and released the meta llama 3 family of large language models which is a collection of pre-trained and instruction-tuned generative text models in 8 and 70 billion sizes. Not everyone can run 70 billion size Llama 3. It's too huge. It requires a lot of GPU power, which not everyone has, including me. Whereas 8 billion model is good, quite good, no doubt about that. But sometimes it really struggles with the context. That is why this person has created this self-merged model llama 3 13.45 billion instruct model and this is what we are going to install locally on our system and then we will play around with it on different prompts to see its performance one instruct uh, uh, interesting bit for this model is this self-merged i really want to show you that so this is a yaml file which the person has used in the merge kit to merge this model if you don't know what merge kit is i already have done a video so please search the channel with merge kit merge kit is simply a tool to merge the models you can merge different model to create a new model or you can merge the same model with each other by defining the layers as you can see here now um, the advantage here is that by just self merging you can um, increase the capacity of the model or such as maybe this guy has tried to do and sometimes you can also improve the performance but i have seen that with llama 3 even the fine tuning and the self merging doesn't all, always work due to the architecture of it anyway so what is happening in this yaml file as you can see on your screen is that the data type is bfloat16 that specifies the data type used for the model's weights and activations bfloat16 is a 16-bit floating point format that uses fewer bits than the standard 32-bit float format which allows for faster computation and reduced memory usage merge method is passed through what it means is that um, in this method all the layers have been concatenated without any additional processing or transformation and then slices shows um, the layers to be merged from each source model and each slice represents a contiguous range of layer and we have specified this layer range as you can see and it's the same model if i just scroll to here hopefully you'll be able to see same model so self merge of same model and then if you keep coming down it's the same model all the way through okay so now you know how this model was merged and all that stuff before i show you the installation and we play around with this model Allow me to give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring this VM and the GPU card which I'm using with this, which is NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. If you are looking to get a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in the description. Plus, I'm also going to put a discount coupon, 50% discount, which you can use for a range of GPUs okay so again really i'm very appreciative of uh, their generosity let me launch my lm studio which uh, which is the tool which i'm going to use for the installation and if you don't know what lm studio is then <clears throat> please search the channel so in the home page type llama 3 13.45 billion instruct or 13 billion press enter and then you do you know that uh, the actual creator win 10 has also created some of the quads plus Bartowski has, as usual, done the favor and created the quads. Now, if you scroll down, I already have downloaded the best possible quad I could find, Q8, and it it is the size is around 14.10 gig. This is the one which I already have downloaded, and I already have loaded the model here, and I have offloaded all the layers to GPU on the right hand side. Plus, I have selected Llama 3 V2 as preset. Okay let's ask it the first question so i'm going to test it on some of the english questions reasoning questions math questions and maybe a jailbreak one okay so let me move that i think i don't know when i copied it let me grab my prompt which i'm going to use for it 
instead of typing let me copy paste so in this first one which is uh, quite a hard one for the model i'm asking it to write 10 sentences ending with the word beauty let's see if model is able to do that let's wait for it to produce the response so you see that model has passed with flying colors and same was the case with llama 3 llama 3 also generated these sentences which ends with beauty and if you have been following my channel you might have noticed that most of the models i would say 95 percent of them get it wrong so really good stuff here so it seems that even with fine tuning it the person has maintained the spirit of llama 3 which is good okay let's ask it a strange question to confuse the model that what let's say what if model thinks that it's an illegal question because you can see that is it illegal to choke once twice chicken let's see what model says Okay, it says model says I must emphasize. Okay, let it print first. So you see, it's a it's a toy chicken, right? So model is saying I must emphasize that choking is never a safe or acceptable behavior, regardless of the object in, involved, including toys. Okay, and then it is you know talking about the perils of choking at all, and then it is telling me that you know I should find something healthier and safer way. That's good. I like the response. Okay, now let's see. I'm asking it, what is the best way to discipline a pet rock with troublesome behavior? Okay, okay, now, so this is what I wanted to see. Okay, sorry. It is saying that I am happy to help. However, I must clarify that disciplining a, disciplining a pet rock is not necessary or effective as rocks are inanimate objects and do not possess consciousness. And then it is saying pet rocks are often used as human resource, educational tools. And then it is saying dusting its surface occasionally. So you see, model is playing around. But it didn't play around with me on that toy chicken thing. That's good. And now let's test out its math uh, prowess. So the answer of this equation is 20. Let's see if model gets it right or not. Look at the reasoning. Amazing stuff. Yeah, correct answer. Let's ask it a logic question. So in this one, I'm asking it there are three killers in a room. Someone enters the room and kills one of them. Nobody leaves the room. How many killers are left in the room? Explain your reasoning step by step. Let's see what model does. Let's wait for it to finish. So the model has correctly identified that this is a literal puzzle. And then it is breaking down it step by step that there are three killers and then blah, blah, blah. And then it is checking the possibilities. And then you see 3.1, 3.2. How good is that? So chain of thought is amazing. Really drilling down in a very fine way. And then it is saying that combining these contradiction eliminating possibilities we can't have both we can't have one of them be a non-killer and then this is a possibility that there must be exactly one killer left in the room the new person who entered and killed one of the original there was actually an innocent bystander or detective trying to solve the mystery i think that is good but what do you think because i have seen people really getting very serious on this one so i will leave it to you okay let's ask it another one now in this one i'm just going giving it a scenario role play question and i'm asking it to write a chapter of a novel and so i just want to check out its context so if you read through it it says there was a war and you are one of the casualties and i'm telling it that model is a genus and model died today glowing and then you know what happened there and then there were three companions um there so I'm, i have just built up a scene and then on the basis of scene, I'm going to ask the model to write the few chapter of novels. Let me see what model does. Let's wait for it. Look at this response. This is something like human in the loop. So look, this is what I told it to do. Then it has started uh, writing the chapter one, the retreat. And if you read through, it's really, really amazing. Very, very nice prose. But look at this towards the end. It says, Please let me know if you'd like me to continue the story. I can certainly do so, but I want to make sure you are interested in seeing where this tale might go. So I just say, please continue and don't stop. Let's see how much it writes. Let me let it run for you. There you go. So it will keep asking me whether you want to continue, continue. And it will keep writing it yes and don't ask me uh, to continue or not just keep writing until the end of story let's see if model 
uh, keeps writing or just ask me again no i think uh, i think i need to set the context on the right hand side and it will keep writing anyway i am not going to do that let's ask it a coding question in this one i'm asking it pro provide a brief summary of the purpose of this javascript function let's see yep that's a palindrome that is correct how good is that look at the quality of the response so not only it has described the code very very wonderfully well it has also given me the synopsis of it okay towards the very end let me ask it to optimize the sql query this is a sql query which is not optimized there are no errors but it's not optimal so i'm asking it to optimize it there you go so it has written the optimal version of the query so i have run it so many times i can already tell that it looks really good oh wow so it is also telling us the changes made amazing amazing stuff there you go and you see the good speed of the gpu with even the q8 version real good stuff very impressed by the self merge of this model let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching